What was the vulnerability? Go with the flow and you'll know. So we've got a whole bunch of tainted data going into print dynamic symbol. And so it's catching all sorts of stuff on fire. The symbol table corrupts the psim. And inside of this get symbol version string, we've got file data, we've got section, we've got string table, we've got string table size, we've got psim. So a whole bunch of acid data going into there. And the output from that is the version string, which is an attacker controlled version string that was embedded in this binary. So moving along. So we see version string is used in this check of some sort. And I said in the comment here that do wide is true if and only if dash w is passed for the command line options into you know, read elf. So that means that do wide is going to be false. So fault not false is true. So true and version string not equal to null. So as long as there was some version string in there and this returned successfully, then we go into this code. Well, we can see there's a 256 byte buffer defined just in time. And we can see the version string is being passed into an S printf, which just has at and then the percent %s. So basically, this attacker controlled version string, which could be completely arbitrary size, is converted into a string and stored into the buffer. But the buffer is not arbitrary size. The buffer is 256 bytes. So if an attack could pass a version string that is larger than 256 bytes, then this will go ahead and overflow the buffer uh, due to the sprintf. So if we go back and we look at our uh, common root causes, right, amongst the things in the sweet potato case was sprintf, one of those weakly bounded functions. So it's not safe. It's a sweet potato attack. So what was the fix for this? Well, if we look at the diffs, we can see they changed the buffer size down to only 16 bytes, and then they replaced the sprintf with a string length of the version string plus one to presumably add in the size of the null character, which is not included in a, or not output by a string length. And then that's do, doing a minus equal on the length available. So later on, the, um, the, the version string is going to be printf'd out somewhere else. So they didn't really need to like bake it into the buffer this way. So that's all good. That's a, uh, you know, basic appropriate sanity check or change to the thing. It's not really a sanity check. It's just like a logic change to the code. So I do notice though that there's this little bit that seems a little suspicious. The uh, buffer has been resized to 16. The length available is 21. So, you know, okay, well, there was some other information being put into the buffer. It was sprintfing out a uh, integer for VNA other. So 16 plus four, okay, well, that gives us 20 plus null character. Might be okay. Uh, there is one other thing that I find a bit suspicious here, and that is the fact that this length available is being minus equaled by effectively an arbitrary size again, right? We said that version string baked into there was, you know, fully attacker controlled. So what if this length available becomes too small and ultimately buffer, uh, ultimately integer underflows. So those kind of things, you know, I'm gonna are best left for later on once we've covered integer underflows and why they can potentially cause security vulnerabilities. So I'm gonna ignore that for now, and if it's actually a problem, we'll come back to it later on in the class. Now the sanity check is all well and good, but uh, you know, what if there were other places that s printf was found in the source code using a percent s and acid input? Well, you know, I'm sure that's not a concern, right? Well, that's for people who need CVEs more than me to go see. So you know, there certainly are a bunch of other sprintfs, and there certainly are percent %s's used as format strings. Are the other values being used attacker controlled? I don't know. Did they perform variant analysis and find out that none of the other things were, you know, actually a problem? Or did they just, you know, look at the single sprintf that was told to them by a vulnerability hunter? I don't know. So again, this is, uh, you know, something that bears further investigation by people who need CVEs more than me.